In this lesson, we are going to learn about forces which are not necessarily concurrent. Okay, so if I have these three forces over here, whose point of actions are like this, then I do not know how to find the resultant of these forces because all the laws that I have learned up till now were only for concurrent forces. Okay, so these things we are going to learn in this lesson, where we would be able to. find out the resultant of several forces which are not necessarily concurrent so before we begin let us first look at a system of parallel force okay let us assume i have two equal and opposite forces which are like this okay this force is being applied at this point let us call this as a and the other force is being applied at this point which is let us say b okay the forces are equal and opposite so this is f okay and this is minus f okay so if we have to use it in vectors this is like this and this is minus of f vector okay now let us try to find out the moment of these forces at a point o okay what would be the moment of force f at point o it is going to be this thing right if this i call as r a then moment at point of force f at point a or rather o also sometimes written as this moment of force f at point o is going to be what is going to be r a vector cross f vector right so this is r a vector similarly what is the moment of this force about point o this is going to be this thing right let us call this as r b vector and then the moment of the other force okay let's call this as minus f at point o is going to be r b vector cross minus of f right so let us see what do we get when we add these two moments i have plus m of minus f of o is equal to r a vector cross f plus r b vector cross minus f okay this i can write as r a vector cross f minus rb vector cross f right this thing gives me ra vector minus rb vector cross product with f vector okay now let us understand what is ra vector minus rb vector let us call this vector this thing okay let us call this as r ab vector okay so over here as you can see that we have a triangle of vectors okay and my triangle law tells me that we have learned the triangle law for forces but forces a vector right and a triangle law is applicable for all kind of vectors so as per my triangle law in this triangle what do i have i have rb vector plus rab vector is equal to what this direction this direction head to tail okay is equal to ra vector right so this is going to be equal to r a vector therefore i get that r b or rather 